Before I get started with this video, I have to thank Power Spy and One on Twitter for tagging me in this story. And this is a Strag Tales video. In case y'all are new to the channel, even though the Strag Tales seems to be majority of the time about, um, I would say non palm colored women, trust and believe me, this particular category does not discriminate. So in this picture, you see a woman by the name of Lauren Courtney. She is 22 years old and she is out of Las Vegas and she has been charged in the death of her five year old. Uh, of a five year old little boy um, that was not her child. At first, I thought it was her child, but it is not her child. She was a babysitter. Basically, what happened was she killed the little boy because of urination. Basically, the little boy peed on himself, which is something little kids tend to do. You never know why they do what they do. It just is what it is. And that's why the boy is dead, because the boy peed on himself. Let's get into it. A Las Vegas babysitter has been charged in the death of a five-year-old boy after home surveillance video showed her kicking the child in the head because he urinated in his pants. Lauren J. Courtney was babysitting Ryan Peralto and his sister on March 11th while their parents were at work. He died the next day after suffering, suffering several injuries, including damage to his skull, liver, spleen, intestines, and brain. So this woman was kicking this boy all over his body. Kaia Peralto, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly or not, told authorities he installed home security cameras after his daughter told him that Courtney had hurt Ryan, his son. He said he checked the camera on his phone during his work breaks and saw his son motionless on the couch while Courtney was cleaning fluids off of the floor. When he called her, she said the boy had thrown up blood. Peralto left work and reviewed the video, which showed Courtney allegedly kicking Ryan in the head. When she was arrested, she told authorities she had gotten upset when Ryan urinated in his pants. She shoved him and hit his head hit the floor, she said. Courtney stated that this is a continual problem and she is tired of having to clean up after him multiple times week after week. A police report said, well, if you were tired of doing that, maybe you should have not come back to be a babysitter then. They could have found someone else to do that job for them. And see on top of that, look at that. She's young. She's 22. And she's out in Vegas. According to Courtney, when Ryan urinated himself today, that was the final straw that triggered her anger. Courtney now faces a first-degree murder charge related to child abuse. She is scheduled to appear in court on May 18th. I hope they throw the book at her. But if I was that boy's parents, after viewing that video, I would have launched myself into her, and she may not have made it to court. Like, I don't know what it is with these so-called adults. And their mishandling of children. When these kids do things that kids are known to do. He may have had a problem, may have had a condition. If she was a concerned person, what she should have done was ask, her, ask his parents to see if there may be something a little bit wrong with their son. And why he keeps peeing or why he pees on himself or why he does the things that he's doing. But to do and go the lengths that this chick did just shows the monstrosity of her mindset. And it shows that she wasn't fit to be around kids. And I would not be surprised if this isn't the first time that she's chastised the boy before she actually went to this point of physical abuse. I hope she doesn't have any children. Because if she does, well, first off, Based on this, if she does, the kids would no longer be in her care anyway. They would be with another relative, hopefully not in the state. But this woman right here, if you want to even call her that, 
does not need to be around any kids. I'm at her court date is all the way in May. I feel like it should have came up a whole lot sooner than that. But hopefully they keep her locked up through that time because she don't need to be on the street. She is unhinged. I mean, look at that. They said this woman did damage to this boy's spleen, his intestines, his head. Like I said, like she bit. It almost sounds like she like like she jumped the boy. I can even imagine the pain that that little boy was going through in those moments. And she probably didn't even know the boy was dead or was her goal to take the boy out because they said first degree. Which is premeditated. The minute that she said she was tired of cleaning up his mess week after week should let everyone know who has come across this story that she most likely this this was boiling. This, this was a boiling point for her. So that means she had intent to do what she did. It wasn't just a spur of the moment type of deal. And like I said, if this was an issue for her, she should have told this boy's parents about what was going on or maybe said, you know, this is too much for me to handle. I can no longer have this babysitting position. But she kept coming back because she needed the money. So it was something about this that she had to have come back for. And like I said, it was definitely the money. Well, I'm very sure that someone out there is not going to take pity on her or put money on her books for wherever that it is that she's going. In a better night. She needs to stay exactly where the hell she is. And after they slam the gavel down on her. With that hopefully guilty plea. Or guilty charge. Or that guilty conviction. That'll be it. Because with that, with these charges. That's, death, that's life imprisonment. Or should be. Because you know. How that goes down. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure you text the number that is pinned down in the comments so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.